previews, but Matthew Centrowitz went for it in Portland in a time trial designed to break Allen Webb's American record in the mile. Came up short. Did get a personal best, though, 349.26. His rabbits lasted about till one kilometer. They went out quick, around 54-ish seconds through through one lap. And then once they stepped off, Centro slowed a bit, as could be expected. Do, does this change your opinion of what he's capable of in Tokyo? Does it keep it the same? Where are you at on putting this performance into perspective as it pertains to his his chances at the Olympics? It doesn't change much. It he had an opportunity to make me think he could win the Olympics if he would have ran, you know, 347, 346. Mm. But 349, that converts to like a 332. Mm -hmm. 332, that's good. That shows like, hey, you're in that tier of like the top 10 guys in the world. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't show yet that he can handle a chariot pace, which we don't know if we're going to have to deal with. You don't know what Timothy Chariot's going to do. Is he going to make it a 328 race, 329 race? We don't know. Um, But it didn't give me like, "Uh uh-oh, watch out, Centro's about to win his second Olympic title. But it also didn't say like, ah, Centro has no chance to medal. Like, I think Mm -hmm. he kind of stayed where he was pre-race, which was he's a medal threat if he has a good race. So you're holding. You're not buying, you're not selling, you're holding. Yeah. If we were in the pre-Chariot era, I think you'd be really encouraged by this race. You say, hey, he's in 332 shape and – He's Matthew Centrowitz. He's shown the ability to close. He's shown the ability to conserve energy through the rounds, and he knows when to make those smart, decisive moves. The issue is now the 1500 is just getting faster and faster. So 330 with Inga Britson and Chariot in the mix for 1500 seems like it's almost like a prerequisite. Now, again, that's just we're basing that off of previous years we don't know what's actually going to happen when it comes time to to race but i think if this was if we did not have the favorites that we have in this event right now the personnel that we have right now in this event you'd say that's a pretty good tune-up 349 he's got strength he's got speed he's got experience let's 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 roll with that but chariot's a pretty predictable runner save for one race at the kenyan trials when he finished fourth but other than that you can pencil him in for for 330 or faster, it feels like. Yeah. So, but you know, Centro, he wasn't supposed to win in 2016. Yeah. And uh, we all know what happened there. Uh, everyone was looking at uh, Kiprop. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and then he just showed up and controlled the race. And we had that 350, 1500 meter race. So, yeah. <laughs> but I just don't think Chariot's going to make the first lap, you know, not 70 seconds or whatever. So, yeah. What are the chances we see a 350, 1500 race? <laughs> just like, if you could, zero. I know you've been getting, I know you've been getting into the odds and stuff. It'd be fun to see some odds on time because with, with Chariot and Ingo Britson in there, the odds of this going slow for more than maybe 100 or 200 meters is just not in their DNA. They're just going to go. Chariot in particular. Yeah. I have been uh, trying to figure out what uh, uh, sports book I'm going to use for the Olympics, and I finally Mm -hmm. narrowed down the one I want. And they didn't have uh, 10K and 5K odds, but today they just had their 10K, 5K odds. And they also are going to give me top three odds for pretty much every race. And I can parlay. Mm -hmm. Like FanDuel, DraftKings, they don't let you parlay anything in the Olympics. But I'm like, hey – they're giving me parlays. They're giving me top threes, which is great. Because there's, there's a lot of good, like, you stay away from picking Grant Holloway, but then you mm-hmm. go after, like, who you think can get third. So, Man, they're giving you more opportunities for you to lose money? Yes, more opportunities to lose money. <laughs> they're excited. so generous. That's so nice of them to do that for you. <laughs> hey, you're going to start getting I, jealous. You're going to start joining the train. That's what's going to happen. I, I Look, I've seen some things. I can tell you offline if you want. I've I've been looking at these as well, too. I've, I've found some inefficiencies in there for sure. Um, any any other thoughts on on Centro or the weekend results? 
No, I guess we're done though, right? We're done with track. Track has now all been the resumes are all complete going into mm-hmm. the Olympics, right? Everyone is done. There's no more track.